Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, we've got some negotiations to look at here. Let's have a look and see who's been bid on Lopez. Uh, Getafe want him for £7.2 million, despite the fact that he is worth 9.1 and he's got a release fee of 23. Bye uh, bye. Not going to happen. Sorry, I'm not breaking this side up. Not until I'm not manager anymore, at which point I'll probably pick a couple of them up. Uh, right, now... The meat and potatoes of today's episode. We are playing Fortaleza in the Brasileiro, the championship. And this is the game where we could win the league. Uh, we've got a few players that are looking not their best. So we'll rotate a few of them. Patrick and Rafinha coming in for Velasco and Lopez. Um, let's give Iago a day off. And Diego Carlos is finally fit again. So he can come onto the bench. And uh, in fact, he can come on and give Scherz a break. Because right now, it's all about keeping players fresh. So that we've got a 100% uh, attendance for the finals of the Copa Libertadores. Which, if you were watching last episode which was only out yesterday you'll know that we made it through to the finals of the Copa Libertadores where we will be playing Minnesota so uh, make sure to uh, come back for that which probably will be tomorrow uh, if we if we manage to sew up the championship today then the there's only a couple of things that we need to come back for and that would be the Libertadores final and the end of season summation so Let's see how we get on. Um, now, depending on how many episodes that takes, we might end up with a very rare double episode on Friday. But uh, I won't be held to that. I can't promise anything. It just depends on how everything falls into place. Anyway, that's the lineup for today's match. Let's kick off. Let's get this going. Get this party started. Let's win this. If I'm if I'm counting correctly, then this is Thursday's episode. Uh, so tomorrow's episode would be the Libertadores final, and then probably a uh, an encapsulation of, of what happened with the rest of the uh, of the the campaign. So yeah, let's uh, let's win it today, shall we? Because otherwise, the timing's going to be completely off. So Fortaleza, oh, immediately give it away to Guerrero. Here's Rafinha. And he puts it well wide. Guerrero has a sixth sense for where the ball's going to be. And he gets there before it even gets there. Felipe Alves beckoning to his defence, telling them that he's going to play it long. Here's my comp. Fortaleza doing a good job of getting the ball forward and threatening. Goalkeeper takes it. No doubt in his mind where that ball was going to be and he took it with the confidence and authority that only comes from experience. The ball played out to Gallardo and eventually it winds up back at the feet of the Fortaleza player here's Rodriguez Carlos does a good job of shepherding him away from goal oh my word it's a, it's a goal it's a goal for Fortaleza and this place is absolutely rocking it's the shock on We initially thought that the defence had done a good job in pushing the player wide, but they completely forgot that there are ten other players on the pitch. And he found one of them with a very simple pass across the face goal. And we are now 1-0 down. Rodriguez to Patrick. 
Patrick feeds the ball into Hulimar. Here's Gallardo. Played across the box. Defender manages to cut it out ahead of Guerrero. Hulimar gets hold of the ball. Back into Gallardo, who's going to have another go at crossing it in. And Felipe absolutely thunders it out for a corner. Here's Mailton standing over the ball. He'll try an in-swinger. Ooh, Gallardo only manages to find another Fortaleza player. And Nanato does a really good job in winning the ball into Rafinha. Hulimar. First touch. Perhaps he could have taken a touch to steady himself before shooting. Free kick given against Guerrero who was a little bit too enthusiastic in his challenge. Alves to restart from the kick. Carlos winning the header. Rodriguez moves it left to Osvaldo. Fortaleza so far have been a massive threat which Inter have just about dealt with in all but one instance. That instance, of course, leading to the goal. Here's Patrick. Into Nonato. Finds Rafinha. Guerrero. Hulimar wrong-footed slightly by the pass. Gallardo. Guerrero! And he's put it wide. Perhaps the pressure is getting to them. It was a lovely cross. And Guerrero knew exactly where to go for it. But rather than heading it across goal, he went for the near post. And uh, that was where he came undone, unfortunately. Alves with a long ball again. Charles underneath it. Can't win the ball. Falls to the feet of... An opposition player. Oh, Gallardo with a little bit of a reckless challenge there. Felipe. Only gets as far as Patrick. Out wide to Mailton. Plays it into Rafinha. Can't find Guerrero with his pass. Rodriguez. Patrick. Hulamar. Foul given again. Inter apparently unable to tackle without fouling. And Carlos, on his return to the team, is given a yellow card by way of welcome. Didn't see too much in that myself. Just slightly late to it. Felipe stands over the ball. He's going to look to flight it into the area. He only gets it as far as the edge of the area, however. Guerrero, Nonato, Finia. Ulamar looking to run onto it. Can't quite get there in time. Here's Patrick. Guerrero to Hulimar. Across to Rafinha. Rafinha still. And he's very unfortunate that the deflection took all of the pace out of the ball. Into with the throw in. Nonato. Hulimar. Gallardo. Hulimar. Guerrero. Guerrero again. And he's managed to bundle it in somehow. 
The first shot blocked by the goalkeeper, but the second one lobbed over the top of him and into the net. And Inter have found their equaliser. A brilliant through ball. Excellent from Hulimar, the back heel. And then Guerrero, at the second time of asking, manages to find... Look at that. That's a lovely little touch. So now Fortaleza have it all to do once again. Here's Carlos. Patrick. Into Rafinha. Rodriguez does a very good job winning the ball there. And it looks as though Hulamar was fouled there for the ball. So it's going to be a free kick to Inter. Interesting position. About 30 yard, well, 35, 40 yards away from goal. Not a shooting opportunity, certainly. But uh, an opportunity perhaps to just flight one in for someone to have a header at. And it's just too much for everyone. Ends up going out of play for a goal kick. Rafinha is a very diminutive player. Let's, let's be kind. He's not small. He's diminutive. And the fact that he was the one trying to get his head onto it meant that it had to be absolutely perfect. At half-time here at Fortaleza, it is one all between the home team and Inter. Of course, Internacional could confirm their championship win today with any kind of uh, positive result, whether it be a win or a draw. But certainly they'll be hoping for another goal just to put this one beyond any doubt. Here's Patrick now. Nonato. Mailton. Intercepted, but picked up again by Inter. Ah, Patrick's played Nonato into trouble there, and Rodriguez comes away with it. Mailton races back to try and help out defensively. Osvaldo. Two players colliding in the penalty area. Referee gives nothing except for a goal kick. Guerrero. Donato into Rafinha. Back to Donato. Here's Mailton. Tries to get it through to Nonato. Can't quite find the pass, but they're able to put a bit of pressure on. And Rafinha very nearly stealing the ball. And in fact, winning himself a free kick as a result of a over-exuberous challenge by the defender. It's a shame. I don't think that's a foul so much as uh, he's just got unfortunately. He's tried to kick the ball and he's kicked the man instead. Let's try swinging this one in. Uh, it's too long again. They're going to have to rethink this free kick uh, technique of theirs. Because so far it's not really paying off for them. Quintero. Talison. Osvaldo. Inside now, Felipe. Oh, Patrick. Guerrero. Oh, <laughs> you can tell he's feeling it when he starts taking shots like that on. Patrick, though, took this ball at full pelt. Really, he could have afforded to carry it a little bit further before he released it. Long ball forward by the goalkeeper. Diego Carlos underneath it. Doesn't win the header, but manages to disrupt the header enough that uh, Rodriguez picks up 
the loose ball. Here's Gallardo, Gallardo to Patrick. Nonato, Hulamar. And he wins himself another... No, he doesn't win himself a free kick. It's been given against him, unfortunately. All he's doing is kicking the ball there, but somehow the referee's decided that he's fouled the player as well. Very peculiar. Felipe Alves, long way out of his goal to take this free kick. Oh, that pass hasn't done them any good. Here's Melton. Making progress down the right hand side as far as Nonato, who loses the ball to the left back. Patrick into Nonato. Rafinha switches play out to Gallardo. Through ball to Hulamar. And just to keep hold of it, plays it into Rafinha. Shot, and it's crept in. Rafinha scores to make it 2 1 to Inter. It took a hell of a deflection off of the defender, but I don't think that it was off target beforehand. We'll have to have a look at the replay to see for sure. No, if anything, the deflection just forced it slightly further into the corner. Hulamar showing great determination there to keep hold of the ball and to find the pass. And yeah, it just takes a little bit of a spin off the hip. Uh, manages to curl the ball around the defender as a result. It's a shame. But the goal belongs to Rafinha. And he'll be celebrating long into the night for that one. That's great from Rodriguez. Just gets his body in the way and levers the player off of the ball. Lovely to see. Great technique. Gallardo doesn't win the header. Mailton's beaten all ends up. Rodriguez having to cover. And the header just over the crossbar there. Rodriguez not happy. It was a good effort. Lomba plays a nice simple ball out to Rodriguez. Into Patrick. Finds Gallardo out on the left hand side. Hulamar. Ah, he's trying to find Gallardo again. Couldn't manage it. Possession seeded. Oh, Diaz nearly dispossessed himself. Fortaleza, who were so good at getting this ball out. Oh, hold that fort. Rafinha into Patrick. Back to Rafinha, but he's not going to get there. And it's three on two here, three on three even. That's great from Rodriguez, though. Sniffs out danger. And Guerrero in a foot race. Tries to lob the keeper. Very nearly does. Rafinha, Guerrero, oh, he wanted the shot, but he couldn't get it off in time. Good tackle by Charles, but then he's dispossessed by Melton. 
And that's it, final whistle. The championship confirmed. It's coming home to Internacional. A 2-1 victory against Fortaleza is enough to confirm the championship win. And they've done it with four games left. A great performance by the team that for so long were nearly men. And there is the famous trophy, the Brasileiro trophy, lifted by Marcelo Lomba, today's captain. And what an important player he's been to this side. He's pulled out some very important saves. Guerrero on the right there, who's weighed in with his fair share of goals, as has the man on the left. Holding the trophy now, Kulimar. There's the final stats for today's match for anyone that cares. Guerrero with a man of the match performance. Sao Paulo dropped points today as well. Two all draw against Ponte Preta, meaning that the championship title goes to Internacional. The only thing left this season is to see if they can go unbeaten for the rest of this term. Look at the L column for everyone else though. This is a very, very competitive league. Sao Paulo have lost seven games. Botafogo and Corinthians eight apiece. My, my, my. And at the bottom, Fortaleza, they didn't play like relegation favourites. And they could still get out of it if the results go their way. There we go. So... Two out of three objectives have been confirmed now. And we only have one thing left to worry about. And that is the Libertadores final. Until next time. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you on final day. Bye bye.